single digits on the countdown to the solar eclipse and we are covering everything you absolutely need to know. A big question on what to do with your pets has come up. So 7 News reporter Brianna Smith went to find out. Just days away from being momentarily in the dark, you may be wondering how your curious pups will react. And they're going to be saying, what, you know, what in the heck's going on? Pets, wild animals, and those in our zoos will all fall under the path of totality in the upstate, being in total black for a few minutes. Well, doctors say that you definitely need these glasses if you're going to watch the solar eclipse. It's not exactly the same for your four-legged friends. I wouldn't imagine it would cause any major problems. It's Mother Nature Network says that many animals will be spooked by the unusual darkness in the middle of the day. Birds are expected to act as though it's morning. Zoo animals may go to sleep or run and hide. Veterinarians say your pet's eyes will be fine, but make sure to monitor them for other symptoms. If you've got a really particularly nervous animal, I'd, I'd, keep, the, I'd keep them indoors under, under your a watchful eye. And if you're out and about during the eclipse, a science-themed app wants you to keep an eye on wild animals by sending in photos or videos to iNaturalists. They want to gather data on how nature reacts to the eclipse. But don't forget, you have to act fast. You know, by the time they get really acutely apprehensive, if something's going on, it's going to be gone, long gone and passed. Or you may miss it. In Spartanburg, Brianna Smith, 7 News. And 7 News is helping you get ready for the eclipse. Head over to our website at WSPA.com for information on everything from viewing parties to how to safely view the eclipse. You can find it at the top of our webpage. Look for the eclipse countdown. We'll also bring you live coverage of the big event on August the 21st. Tune in for our Carolina Eclipse special starting at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 7.